this video is all about restoring our historic wheelhouse. So this is our wheelhouse. It's at least 73 years old and the window frames are made out of teak. Throughout the years Flying Coney went through many alterations. She started her life as a wooden warship, was rebuilt as a steel trawler, was converted into a sailing ship and was converted once more into a motor sailor. Throughout all these changes there is one thing that really stood the test of time. This wheelhouse. Also, over the years it changed position and size several times. First, in her fishing days, it stood on a pedestal, which is typical for a North Sea trawler. When she was converted into a sailing ship, this pedestal was removed to lower the wheelhouse. And in the last conversion, this wheelhouse was raised again and two side entrance doors were added. Now, after 73 years, it's time to restore this piece of history. Hello, it's so good to see you again. I'm Barbara and together with Daniel I restored a historic steel ship, Flying Coney. So two years ago we bought this massive, abandoned and almost sinking trawler. And step by step we bring Flying Coney back to life. Part of the restoration is to convert her back into a sailing ship. And the vision to sail with young people all around the world keeps us going. So the next step is to restore the wheelhouse. We've planned four major tasks. First, we have to repair the roof because it's beneficial to keep rainwater outside the boat. Second, we have to renew the bases of the nav lights. Third, we want to build a nice nav desk because it's not all about fixing things. Sometimes you have to take the time to improve things. And last but not least, we have to re-varnish the teak window frames, which turned out to be a very, very time-consuming step. In this video we focus on the roof. So let's get started. The first step was to remove the rotten nav light bases. My name is Anton. I'm a software engineer and uh, I live here in the Netherlands. And uh, today I came here to do some work. After we got rid of the nav lights and Anton, I hope the project will grow and um, I wish the best of luck to the, to the guys. It was time to fix the roof. The main tasks were to repair a rotten corner and also the paint didn't look all that great. As always a small job turned out much bigger than expected. So luckily a new volunteer showed up. This time a professional shipwright. Well, I'm Harald Keul and I'm a ships uh, right. I run my own uh, woodwind company, I'm self-employed. I repair wood on board of boats. It can be interior, exterior. I like to help people and I decided to spare some, uh, lend, me, lend some time towards the flying coney. So the first step was to remove the solar panels to get a rough idea of the condition of the roof. And what we found wasn't all that great. So we investigated a little bit more using scrapers and sanders. I 
I just love this shot. Because somehow Flying Coney always tricks you into believing that she is much smaller than she is. Maybe that's why her first name was Tiny. It needs two people looking like ants on the rooftop to make you realize the scale. Anyway, back to topic. So after all that scraping and scrubbing and sanding, what we found wasn't all that great either. The marine ply of the roof was rotten on several spots. And we had to fix that. So it was time for a lunch break to talk about possible solutions. Peperonata compurata. Molto bene. So there are some rotten patches in the roof. We're gonna sheet it over so it lasts for a few more years. <laughs> so we went into the cargo hold to look for some leftover marine ply from the interior and found a promising sheet for patching. And as we had it dry fitted on the roof, it started to shrink and it was clear we need a few more. Luckily, we had a few more, so we started patching. Yeah, if you can hold this one up. Oh, that's great. While we were patching the roof, Barbara started scraping off the old varnish from the wheelhouse. We are not sure if we can re-varnish it before this winter, but it's better for the teak wood to have no varnish at all than having flaking off varnish where water and moisture get trapped behind it. So we made quite some progress. However, it's all about the details. We wanted to minimize places where water could stand and therefore we also needed to cover the area next to the chimney. So Harold made a template for this tricky bit. And he transferred the template to a sheet of reclaimed plywood. Then he cut it with the track saw and after some fine tuning with the hand plane it fitted perfectly and was permanently mounted. Yeah, 
Yeah, we we're getting there. Yeah. I think uh, after these uh, few days, uh, it will be water tight again and uh, the rot has disappeared. So. so our last job for the day was to mix up some two component wood filler and fill all the screw holes and small damages in the reclaimed wood. Next up was a typical flying coney moment. It was necessary to get at least one coat of primer on before the next rain. We are still in the Netherlands, so you never know when that will be. So we thought we spent the first two hours of an editing day for this task. I mean, how long can it take? Just a quick sand and one coat of primer. Long story short, it took us six hours to get the primer on. The next roof-related problem was this rotten corner. So the first step was assessment. And after we had a good idea how far the wood was affected, it was time to make the first cut. And after many more cuts, nice. and some chiseling. We found even more rot. This is firm. Like uh, the plywood itself on the roof also. This is good. This is saturated with moisture, but the rooftop is wet. So we need to dry it off. Do you want to replace that one? <laughs> yeah. Sit down, please. Ah. We have cheese, we have guacamole. After the delicious lunch, it was time to get back to work. To repair the corner, Harold brought a rough sawn Iroko board and also his thickness planer to get the board down to the right measurements. It's nice to work with wood. To make, you have raw lumber and you mill it down and you make something nice of it. That's what I like. Since on this day it was Barbara's turn to film everything, it was my turn to make some progress on the never-ending task that is removing the old varnish from the wheelhouse. You made quite a lot of progress already. I'm just scratching the surface. I make it look more than it is because I'm focusing on the big scale. <laughs> the details, 
Never mind. The next step was to get the nice Iroko board mounted on the roof. Just gonna drill some holes and then just temporarily fasten it. This is a good fit now. Still long enough. Still long enough, so that's fine. Okay. okay. Uh, fit? Yeah, it, it does fit. Perfect. Already looking a lot better, but not finished yet. And while we wait for the glue to dry, back to the never-ending task of removing the old varnish. We are lucky that 73 years back in time, someone invested in a teak wheelhouse. Because after we removed all the varnish, we found absolutely no rot at all. And if you look at the rest of the ship, that really means something. So for us, maintaining and preserving the historic wheelhouse is quite important more than the engine or the interior. It's a big part of Flying Coney's identity. Having said that, it's quite a lot of work with a heat gun and a putty knife to get the old varnish off. But enough talking, the glue is dry, so back to the roof corner repair. It was a bit tricky to avoid standing water on the roof. However, we found a solution. The roof has a slight camber. So with these plywood triangles, 
we guide the water off the roof. And spoiler, it worked. After the second coat of primer, it was time for a glorious sanding. Our sander is the Bosch Professional GET 150 Turbo, which is a great sander and the same that Mats from Sailife uses. But even with such a beast of a sander, it takes quite a while to get the job done. But eventually, it was time for two layers of new top coat. Wow, that's amazing. The roof is done now and it feels so great to have a leak and rot free roof that should be good for the next years. However, there's still a lot more work to come. So join us next time when we restore the enough flat bases, build a new chart table and continue the never ending task of renewing the old varnish on our wheelhouse. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>